This is the kitchen right here. Latasha Krosty takes us through her dream apartment that she spent two weeks furnishing from the living room to the outdoors. This is my patio furniture right here. But then came a knock on the door from a woman who claimed Latasha didn't belong here. She got a show in here at this apartment. I said, I live here. She said, no, there's nobody supposed to live here. Turns out she gave a $1,000 deposit and another thousand for rent to a fake landlord who she found in a Facebook posting. I gave you my, me and my kids money, thinking we got a home. This is so unusual because typically a rental scammer will post a fake ad, then take a deposit for an apartment they don't really own. It's pretty much unheard of for them to give the tenant a key and say, go ahead, move in. She was scared. I mean, they've just told her that her home isn't hers and she doesn't have anywhere to go. Neighbor Kyla Moulton, along with legal aid, are now trying to help Latasha stay. We called and visited the property management company, Fortune Vine Realty, but could not find anyone to talk. Now, one week after we first met Latasha, I went to the door Saturday, the 26th. She found this notice to leave the premises taped to her door. Latasha now worries she could be evicted any moment. I never ever would have thought in a million years this man wasn't who he said he was. It now appears the fake landlord may have gotten the key from a lockbox that was on the door. Now, we're going to keep trying to help Latasha. We'll keep you posted so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.